Crohn's disease is an inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract, characteristic chronic diseases. The gastrointestinal tract is also known as the digestive tract. Because Crohn's disease is a chronic disease, its existence is continuous, and it will continue throughout the patient's life. But with the combined efforts of patients and physicians, we can control the symptoms of cochlear disease, digestive tract, including mouth, esophagus and stomach, small intestine, large intestine and anus. Crohn's disease can accumulate anywhere in the digestive tract, but the longest is tired. The accumulation is in the last part of the small intestine, we call it the ileum, and the colon, it's called the beginning of the large intestine. The current consensus is that, Crohn's disease is a genetic disorder, it's caused by an immune system disorder. The digestive tract is constantly evolving from our food, and bacterial exposure in the environment. Many factors can increase people's risk of developing Crohn's disease. But the most common treatment factors can be divided into three cases. That includes heredity, susceptible constitution, environmental factors, and quote, inflamed digestive tract immune system disorder. Environmental factors include infection, smoking, taking antibiotics or anti-inflammatory drugs, non-hazardous anti-inflammatory drugs. The body is protected from the potential. One of the ways in which bacteria threaten is by producing. We all know about inflammation. What is the inflammatory response on the surface of the body? For example, when you have a scratch or defect, the wound will become red and inflamed. Because at this moment, IMMUNE system, efforts are being made to remove bacteria and viruses from the wound. A few days later, when the immune system has done its job, he will shut himself down. Then the redness and inflammation will go away. People with Crohn's disease, inflammation takes place in the digestive tract. The immune system struggles to fight bacteria and viruses, like a reaction to a wound on the surface of the skin. But unlike wounds on the surface of the skin, after getting rid of bacteria and viruses, the immune system doesn't shut down automatically. So the ulcer persists, guide us through medication or surgery. It is this chronic inflammation that causes Crohn. Erting symptoms, the clinical manifestation of Crohn's disease is due to the location and severity of the disease, different degrees, this means that every patient with Karen's disease presents, not the same. Most people with Karen's have abdominal pain, diarrhea and other symptoms related to the digestive tract, including abdominal tenderness, decreased appetite, weight loss, fever fatigue, rectal bleeding, anal fatigue and ulcers. Crohn's disease can lead to stunted growth in children, unable to thrive. Even if the symptoms are digested, sometimes they do not appear. In addition to the symptoms of the digestive tract, Passenger ship disease can also affect other parts of the body. Extradigestive symptoms include joint pain, hepatitis osteoporosis, skin lesions, ocular lesions, oral ulcers, and anemia can. Patients with Crohn's disease under the guidance of a doctor, the expectation of a normal life. The doctor's goal is to help patients manage Crohn's. The development of the disease, instead of being led by the nose by Crohn's disease, 